Guys, we're uh, riding around in a buggy at Amish Acres. What's up guys, welcome back to our channel. We've missed you, it's been a few days. It's been almost a week since our last upload and we're, we're filming here in the RV again because we realized, you know what, we were actually, we were soaking up so much time at Amish Acres that we didn't quite tell a story. We learned a lot of things we didn't know about the Amish. We, yeah, we got there, we went on the buggy ride as you saw. We are in Indiana, we were thinking, what do we do here? And we came across Amish Acres and we're like, that is unique, that is different, I've never been to an Amish community. <laughs> Do you like this ride? Do you see the forest? Today's a little different than our usual adventure. We're not hiking, we're not jumping off the cliffs, we're just riding in a buggy. A chill day. And then we went on this like tractor bus ride kind of thing and went around and saw how they live, their, how a lot of Amish live their life. We saw a schoolhouse. You know what I think of? And a Green Gables. We also went and have a legit Amish meal. They had like a theater room where it explained like the history of where the Amish came about. <laughs> Amish men wear black felt hats and full beards without mustache. I think I have more We did learn a lot. We noticed that Amish Acres is also made for tourists. We wanted to even get behind the tourist wall, if you guys know what I'm saying, and just kind of see what it authentically is like. So we went and visited with an Amish family as well. You saw on Instagram, we actually said, hey, we're hanging out with Amish. If you have any specific questions, let us know and we'll ask direct Amish people. Because as accurate as Google is. <laughs> so, here we go. Suzanne underscore Arkit. Do they have arranged marriages? No. Great question. No, they don't. They don't. They, they date. They're kind of just like us and they just try to find the soulmates. Again, what we're saying is what we know from. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. She, she just tooted and they got really happy. She did? I didn't <laughs> yeah. hear it too. Yeah. So these are things that we found out from people. So if you know Amish people that live differently, comment below. Amish actually, most of their weddings happen in like November, December, end of October. That's when harvest is over. One family we talked to said that they, the whole community came together and built this barn and a dancing floor just for the wedding. But also it's because they had a barn all set up and then it burnt down. So in two weeks, the whole community came and built it up right away. This one made me laugh. Do they get pulled over? At first I was thinking, <laughs> well, of course no. not, because they don't drive cars. Yes, they were asking in their buggy and horse. Not really. I guess if you were it could happen. speeding, it could happen. <laughs> but, okay, this is from Snowflake Forest. Is it changing how they feel about being photographed? Ah! They said for the most part, I mean, they still don't do photographs, but if you ask, a lot of times they'll say yes. A lot of people will try to like sneak photos and they were just kind of like, if they just ask, we'll probably say yes. Do they make homemade jelly? Yes. Yeah. And it Saw is. Saw them make jelly. It is delicious. So good. This is what I want. Jelly and jam. The dandelion jelly, cherry jam, mint jelly, corn cob. Ooh, this all looks really good. Raspberry jalapeno jelly. Oh, that was really good. Oh, this is from marlin.b9. Are they worried about what's going on in this world country? Politically. From what I understood what they were saying, the Amish are very neutral. When the like, great wars were happening, they didn't choose a side. They didn't want to be involved in that. They were very neutral. I'm sure they're worried about how the world's turning out and what things are happening, but they're, I don't think they take sides. What percentage leave the Amish lifestyle? Most everyone has between 16 and 18 to kind of, they have the choice to go and see the world and see other lifestyles. And most all come back, except like 10 to 15% is what we were told. Someone else asked in here, what happens if someone leaves the Amish community? It actually varies. A lot of families will shun them or- Or, or the community will shun yeah, them. Yeah, they'll percent. cut all communication for years. We were talking to some Amish people who left and they were still hanging around their Amish community and they said, it depends. I was like, well, how's your relationship with your family? Because some families shun their own children when mm -hmm. they leave. But she said, my parents are really awesome and we're really close. I, again, it just depends where you are. Biggest misconception. We asked our buggy guy if he gets a lot of misconceptions and he said, people ask me like, is it true you don't pay income tax? And then he started laughing and he said, there's no way around that. Do, this is from basil.quiche. Do Amish people use modern medicine? He then said, people ask, the people think we don't use hospitals. Yes, we use doctors. Um, yes, like, we have. We need them just as much as yeah, we have doctors. <laughs> the biggest thing I got away from this experience is there's a lot of good things that I think you can learn from them. I do like their sense of community and that they all come together to help each other. Like, 
no one is above anybody, and that's why they love the way they do. We heard about a family, we wanted to go visit them, and we got to their house, and they weren't home, but we saw some other neighbors nearby that were Amish, and they're like, yeah, they'll be here in no time. Just, I'm sure they'll be here in a couple hours. I remember my first thought was, a couple hours is no time. And part of myself is envious of that because they're able to like, they're able to be in the moment and to work and not get distracted. Can you imagine if you went a month without your cell phone, how focused you would be? Oh man. It's cool that they have things eliminate distractions so that the important things that are right in front of them, like Evelyn. She's loving all the time. What you know, Bryce is trying to say is that it just they help focus on things that are priority. Thank you so much for hosting us, Indiana. Thank you, Amish community, for hosting us as well. That's some things we learned. If yeah. you're inaccurate on some of them, or it wasn't what you believe in, if you're Amish, we apologize. It's just where we went. That's what the answers we were given. We're gonna spend time with them, with Evelyn. Yeah, and we're gonna go hide our treasure. So. It's Same. gonna be tomorrow, but you're gonna see it in the in, in this video, video, like right right now. You're gonna yeah. see it right now. Okay, here are the stairs we walked up. Here's the lovely lady. This is Here's the, the first step to the trail that goes to the beach, and we're covering it. Up. It's on the right side because you guys should always choose the right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. It's good for a free experience that we got at Amish Acres for a family of four or friends or your small group. Also, you get that plus an entry in for a free international trip. Provided by the Jogies. See you guys. Well, Indiana, it's been real. Fast into Michigan. If you guys get a chance, definitely come to Indiana. There's so much to see and do here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Look, the camera's on. It's on. Yeah.